This here's the Breville Infuser. Hey, Gail. Hi, Kat. So I want you to teach me. <clears throat> you know it all. No, I don't, Gail. You told me you did. <laughs> <laughs> um, just that one day. Everybody in the company knows it. <laughs> they heard it. Um, so I, I, we, I want you to teach me um, how to program the Breville infuser. Now, and also, why you would. Yeah, why you would, what the benefit of it is. And, well, it um, gives you your shots automatically. Okay. It's going to give you a double or a single shot, proper timing for the grind of the coffee that you have that you're using in your portafilter. Okay. So that determines how fast it's going to come out is how you grind that coffee. Mm -hmm. If you grind it coarser, uh, your programming here might be programmed for 20 seconds, mm -hmm. but your shot's going to be completed in 10 seconds. Got it. Right. Okay. So you want to get the grind of your coffee proper. Mm -hmm. Use your, you know, I use my timer. <laughs> yeah, your cheap little timer yeah, there. cheap little timer. So I time, I, I grind my coffee and then mm -hmm. I see how my two ounces is coming out. You know, I measure it with a you know, measuring cup of some sort, so shot glasses. Okay. And then you program. And so not only do I have to worry about my grind and stuff like that, but also if I program it without coffee in place. Oh yeah, it's just going to pour right through. you got to have the back pressure that that coffee provides. And also coffee's going to take a little water. Yes, it it's going to keep water. some coffee That's or keep some water. This machine does pre-infusion. It, it put, passively puts a little bit of water down on the coffee, waits a couple of seconds, and then actually the pump kicks in and brews an actual shot. Okay. So, yeah, getting the, the coffee is going to absorb a certain amount of water. And so if I just did, like, no coffee started and just did two ounces of water with no coffee oh, in there well. the next time I when I went to brew a shot I would end up with less water or yes. less coffee right because yes. some of it stayed with the yeah, coffee you'd probably have half the volume like right now watch how fast this is going to come out with no coffee Woo -hoo. pretty fast I'm going to stop it, but we haven't yeah. programmed it yet. We're going to show you how to program it, too. Okay, so, so we're going to get some coffee that we've already uh, dialed in. Okay. The coffee is already ground and ready to go, so that's the first thing you really have to do is get your coffee ground. Time it. Make sure your shots are coming out in that time period. Taste the shots. If it tastes good, then you're good. ready to go. Then we'll show you how to program it. Okay, we'll be right back. Okay, okay so we've got our ground coffee in there, mm -hmm. and what we're going to do is get into the program mode and program this for, and i got my timer. Now we did notice on this machine, uh, the shots really you get about a 20 second shot. Maybe a little bit more. Yeah, a little bit more. Yeah, because we've got, you started it with the pre-infusion too, Gal. I did, you're right. Okay, that's 26 seconds. Okay. But two ounces up to the top of the crema. Okay. Which that's, we've had that discussion. Is it to the coffee or to the top of the crema? It's always, everybody's got a different opinion, right, Grammy? How's it taste? Good. Want to try it? Yeah. Yeah, it's good. Can I ask you to do something for me? What do you want? Can we remove the, um, remove that? And now do this guy and show the different, how much water actually came through, you know, because you're going right. to take get, some for the coffee. Get rid of the coffee. Put this back in and run it through the filter. Yeah. Yeah. That's and measure it out just to see the yep. di see how much water volume we actually programmed. Yep. And it. that's the thing, too, with these guys is that what you're programming is a number of rotations Yes. Of a um, a little dude, there's, there's, right? There's a flow meter in there that um, it has a little magnet that goes around as the water goes through it. And okay. And every time that magnet goes around, it registers. Doom, doom, doom. So, so when you program it, it just remembers, like, I moved around 150 times exactly. or something. Exactly. Okay. It, doesn't add, it doesn't have a clock. Or it's, and it's not measuring a, a volume, no. like, mm -mm. you set me for two ounces. Mm -mm. But that flow meter goes around at the same rate. So. Okay. So you can see this is it, it might even overflow. So that's, about that's three, three ounces, ounces, right? To yeah. The top. yeah. <laughs> so that's basically about an ounce difference, then yep. you know of, of what kind of stuck with the yep. coffee. So then you can program your your single in the same fashion mm -hmm. 
for whatever amount you want there, three quarters to an ounce. Yeah. And it'll do the same thing. It's by volume of coffee going through that flow meter. And it doesn't actually really matter. Let's say you have two people who use it. You like your coffee different, but you both do double shots. You can program either of these for whatever different, you want. different volumes. Yeah. They're this, just kind of giving be, you a reference this point. This could be Kat's double shot. This could be my double shot. Why do I get the little one? You're shorter than me. Gail. <laughs> okay. That was a good answer, I thought. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so that is a, sort of a, the primer on programming. And you're younger than me, too. <laughs> <laughs> only by six months, Gail. <laughs> oh, I wish. I wish I was six months older than you. <laughs> that would be perfect. Cool. All, All right. right. Programming the infuser. Yeah. Thanks, Gail.